Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today I've got a lot of turquoise fabrics around me, but it's not about the fabric. Today we're going to talk about the dolman sleeve. The thing is, there are a lot of different types of one-piece sleeves on the internet. At our Russian channel, we've made a huge number of garments with a one-piece sleeve. Some tailors call this sleeve dolman. In my understanding of the dolman sleeve, it begins from the hip and goes here. That is a true dolman sleeve. When we make an accurate sleeve, I mean make it between the waist and the armhole to the middle, it is not a dolman sleeve. The dolman sleeve starts from the hip. I remember those times when these sleeves were in fashion. They had been made oversized. They began at the hip line or lower, and those sleeves were cut just like this. I remember the time when we wore the cut of the shoulder up a little bit, and then we wore it lowered as to make it oversized here. Why did I decide to make this sleeve? We are preparing a course called Linen Trousers Without a Pattern. I'm planning to release it soon. Look, here they are. They're laying on the wrong side, because I really like this wrong side. Here I have a Missoni fabric. It is 100% cotton. It's perfect. Look here. I decided to make a sweater from a 100% cotton and combine it with these trousers. But the Missoni fabric is so colorful, you can combine it with any trousers. But I think the turquoise is better. What do you think? Look, how beautiful it is. I really want to make a sweater like this, with a sleeve that is really called a dolman. Moreover, I'm going to make a drawing and a sketch. Take a look at the sketch. This is a simple sweater. It consists of a front and back. Thanks to this soft fabric, I won't even have a balance here. If you are going to make it from a non-stretchy fabric, please make the front higher here. I'm going to make the drawing now. We need to take some measurements. The volume will start here from the hip line. I always try to draw full sleeves, but it doesn't work because I just don't have enough space to draw the sleeves. So that's what we have. Our sleeves will be longer. The length of the sleeve will be 55 centimeters. The line goes straight to the hip. I remember the time when everyone wore clothes with such sleeves. It was fashionable in Riga. A magazine, Riga's Modus, published these patterns. It was the 80s. This sleeve was the height of fashion. Everyone wore garments with the dolman sleeve. I have some really good memories of this design. I have a lot of books at home. I collect books about fashion. I learned from one book that many French designers made garments with such sleeves. I have a book about Yves Saint Laurent's muse, the woman he dressed. This book is about her. There are a lot of silk blouses made like that. Not like what we want to make, but different. Those silk blouses were tucked in. They looked beautiful. So. Let's talk about the dolman sleeve. Let's make the drawing. We need to take some measurements. What kind of measurements? The bust at first. So you can ask why we need the bust measurement. The bust measurement is unnecessary, but we need it to draw the first line of the side seam to get to the hip line. We need the following measurements. Bust, back width, back length, and length of the garment. The length of the garment goes according to the fabric. I will fold the fabric in half. The length of the sleeve is 55 centimeters. I don't want to make it 60 centimeters because I prefer shorter sleeves. I don't like long sleeves. The fabric has stretch. That's why the drawing is simple. Here is a straight line, here on the neckline, because that's how the stripe is placed. If it hangs down a little bit, it'll be fine, too. It hangs a little here. Here we'll make a dolman sleeve. That's why we started to make the drawing. I think a lot of people will feel nostalgia when they make such a sleeve. 
bust is 1 meter and 18 centimeters. Now let's talk about the hip circumference. We usually measure the hips at the widest point of the buttock, including the belly. Check it by moving it around to make sure everything fits well. It's a little different here. I'm going to measure the hip circumference just above the hips, just a little bit above the hips. First of all, my fabric is soft, so it'll fit well. Secondly, I want it to fit a little on the hips here. I won't take the full hip measurement, but a little less. I mean to make the hip measurement above the hips. My measuring tape isn't going to go through here. I measure 1 meter 7 centimeters. It's not the hips. This is the measurement over the hips for making the hemline of the sweater here. I write down 1 meter 7 centimeters. The hips are 1 meter 7 centimeters. Half is 53.5 centimeters and a quarter is 27 centimeters. So let's see. Bust, hips, width and length of the back, length of the garment, and the sleeve length is 55 centimeters. We don't need a waist circumference. That's all we need. It's enough. Oh, and we need an arm circumference. It should be about 20 centimeters. Let's take 20 centimeters. I don't like wide sleeves. I write down 20 centimeters. So let's draw the first line, the center front and the center back. I will trace the pattern later. I'll make the pattern in the center back. It's about 65 centimeters. I will see this point later on the fabric. This is the back of the neck and the seventh cervical vertebra. Sixty-five centimeter point, it is a hemline. Draw a small line from the seventh cervical vertebra. The back length is 41 centimeters. Divide it in half. Divide this distance in half. It's 20 and a half centimeters. This is a half. We don't need it. You just need to know where the side seam should have been. I took 20 centimeters of the fabric according to my back width. I took 40 centimeters, not 41. I think it's clear. We need to know the back width, the back length, and the length of the garment yet. Next, the seventh cervical vertebra. This point is the seventh cervical vertebra. I measure eight centimeters from this point. Draw a perpendicular line up about three centimeters from this point. Why am I doing that? I won't even make such a neckline, but I need to know what to do next. Like so. Look at this point. I measure one centimeter down, one centimeter from the crossing line of the back width and neckline of the back width. Draw a shoulder line. Connect the upper line of the neckline of the back and point one. Let's talk about this line in detail. What can I say? The line was sloped. I think I'll raise this point here. We can draw such a line and we can raise it more. We can draw a straight line here, make a sleeve here and draw a dolman sleeve to the hips. If we want to make more volume here, we should draw a higher line. I want to change my sketch. Look at that. 
Look, this is a different slope. I don't want to erase it. I don't need it. The beginning of the shoulder is the width of the back and the shoulder line. I measure 55 centimeters from the beginning of the shoulder. It's too much. I'll measure 53 centimeters. Now I need a triangle. Like so. The arm circumference is 20 centimeters. If I measure a half, it's 10 centimeters. I've got such a dainty hand. I measure the hips. Twenty-seven centimeters. It's one-fourth. It's about twenty-seven centimeters. I take twenty-six because of the fabric. Make it smaller. That's how my hips look. Now, I'm drawing a line for my dolman sleeve. It can be... The thing is, my sleeve begins at the hip. I can make a line like this. or like that. Oh, I chose this one. This is the moment when we can be fashion designers for ourselves, I always say. Here, I like this. Do what you like. But this is a middle line. Make the right dolman sleeve. This sleeve looks like a bat wing. When I finish this sleeve, I'll fly somewhere. That's a joke. Look here. My neckline will consist of the straight stripe. The straight stripe and here the shoulder begins. I won't cut the neckline. That's why I redraw it. Look, I will make the width of the neckline not from this point. I want to make it like that. Maybe someday I will show a shoulder. I think I'll make something like that from the half of the shoulder. I take 12 centimeters from the center back. My neckline begins here. Let it be. Let it be the beginning of the sleeve. Here I'll make a shoulder. It will go into the sleeve, and here I'll have just a straight line from here to there. As I said, the front and the back will be the same. My fabric is so soft. What about the balance? Do you see how wide and smooth this gar garment is? It's wide and smooth. It'll fit well. When we make a dress like mine, for example, we need to fit it. In this case, we need to know the balance clearly, like in the 10 measurements cutting system. The front is higher than the back here. We are making an oversized garment, and I don't know, should I add to the height here? I think no. Now I am drawing. I write here, the center front and the center back. This is the fold. Zip. 
the grain line. You will make it on the grain line. In my case, this is the crosswise grain because my fabric lays across. I'll trace it. We'll make a pattern which I'll cut. I'm imagining how beautiful I'll look in this sweater and in these chic trousers. This is my pattern. Maybe you will make a dolman sleeve with a round neckline. Choose the width you'd like for a round neckline. You can also make a V-neck here. For example, I'll take another color and show you. This is how you would make a V-neck, or another type of neckline. I will make a smooth neckline from this fabric. I won't cut anything here. You can choose any slope you like here. Any width here. Do what you like. This is the first time we're speaking about the dolman sleeve at our channel. I chose this theme accidentally. Write your comments. Those sleeves were fashionable. Do you recall? But it's still fashionable nowadays because of the one-piece sleeve. A lot of people wear clothes with a one-piece sleeve, but I chose this type of a one-piece sleeve for today. Those sleeves, as I said earlier, started in the 80s when I bought that Regus Modus magazine. Here it begins from the hip, not at this point. Then it goes down, and here is where we draw the one-piece sleeve. It's a little different. My pattern is ready. All I have to do is cut it, lay it on the fabric, trim it, and put it on with these chic trousers. Find interesting types of fabrics. Find new ideas. Choose garments which fit you well. Or change this pattern. Use your imagination. If your fabric isn't stretchy, make the front higher. Choose a neckline. Choose the sleeve length. Choose any form of the dolman sleeve. Choose any length of garment and be happy. The most important thing is that we make new clothes to feel happiness. It's time to say goodbye. Click the like button and share our videos on social media and subscribe to our channel. I'll be waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste and the rest of our team.